In the previous tutorial we created all the railings and walls for the stadium scene. In the second part we'll add the advertising hoarding around the perimeter of the arena. In this style we'll demonstrate how to control the material ID of segments to allow us to randomly apply different textures and introduce how to add parameters that can be adjusted without needing to open the style editor. To get started create a new rail clone object in any viewport. Come to modify, open the style editor and add a new linear array. Add a segment and a spline object. For the segment, pick the billboard from the scene called add i2 and wire this to the default input. Wire the spline node to the spline input and pick spline fence from the scene. We now have the style but it's inside the wall as we can see here. So just to pull it to the other side of the wall, go to the generator settings and use the Y offset to just drag it until it just comes through the wall. Now we'll apply the material, so open the material editor and let's have a look at this adverts material. So it's a multi sub object material which has six different standard materials attached. The first three of these are three different types of advert and the second three are just coloured boards. We want to randomize all of these on this object, but before we do that, let's apply it. One thing you might notice is that the texture is flipped. To fix that, come back to the linear array and reverse the spline. It's re reversed the spline, so now the Y offset is pushing the billboard onto the other side, the opposite side of the wall. So we'll just put a negative in front of the Y offset to bring it back to this side. And now you can see this is going the correct way. What we'd like to do now is to randomize between those multi sub object materials so we've got a variety of different billboards. So to do that, come back to the Rail Clone Style Editor, come down to the Material Operator and drag it into the construction view. Connect the billboard segment to its input and connect the output to the default in. If we click on the Material node now you can see it's taking Material ID 1 and it's randomizing it between 1 and 2 which is why we're seeing the first two billboards on there. What we want to do is change it from 1 to 6. So now we have a random selection of material IDs from 1 to 6 giving us a good randomization of billboards around the arena. That does complete the basic style but now we'll add some parameters to make it easier to adjust directly from within the modify panel. So the first thing we'll do is add a parameter to the Y offset so that we can adjust it from over here. The Y offset input is not yet exposed so right click where it says linear 1s, go to export Y offset and then create a new numeric node and wire that to the Y offset input. Change the type to scene units and then we can add the parameter that we used here which I believe was minus 0.18 to reset it back to the same values but the beauty now is that we can adjust this from here. And we'll also add uh, the Z offset in the event that we need to easily move this up and down. So right click again, go to export, Z offset. Bring in another numeric node and wire that to the Z offset input. Change the type to scene units. Now we have this here, we can use this to move it up and down as necessary. Just to make things easier, let's just name these so that it's more obvious what each one does in the parameters rollout. So let's call this one Y offset and this one Z. And you'll see that updates in the parameters rollout. With that style done, we can close the style editor. And now we need to duplicate that style and use it around the rest of the arena. So to do that, Instead of duplicating it, I'm going to create a new Rail Clone Pro object. Come to Modify. And this time in the Style Rollout, we're going to use the Copy Style From button here to grab the style from an existing Rail Clone object. So let's just make sure we can see it. Go to Copy Style From and click on the billboard style we just created. It'll come up with a warning saying this is undoable. Do you want to continue? And we do. Then finally, come down to base objects and pick the new path, which is this one here. So with that picked, we now have access to these parameters. So we can use the Y offset again, just to 
pull it back out of the wall notice that it's reversed again so I'm gonna to have to just open the style editor here and just turn off reverse in this case here we go just adjust that and what I might want to do is to cover up this join here so actually these billboards are larger um, so we can come up to global scale here and maybe change this value to 150 percent to make it a bit bigger then come down to the Z offset value and just bring that down to the bottom of the wall and one final thing I might just fix for this style just noticing that some of the segments are being cut short if I go back into the style editor here and just go to the linear array go to rules and this is the problem here bevel mode is, is set to extend so when it hits uh, a corner or a bezier corner vertex it uh, kind of slices the segment if I just turn this off so it says none it will ignore that and each segment will be displayed all the way around in full and that completes this simple style this short video explored how to use the material node to randomize textures how to create parametric styles and how to copy styles from other rail clone objects in the next tutorial we'll continue to build the stadium scene this time creating a new seating style from scratch meanwhile for more tutorials on rail clone 2 please visit our tutorials page our vimeo and youtube channels or follow us on facebook and twitter